My name is Margaret Shiner. I'm originally from Maynard, Massachusetts. It's a very small town, so my research is in brief to make a self-healing airplane. And so we want an airplane that when it flies through a hailstorm and gets hit by the hail, will tell the pilot exactly how much damage it sustained, where the damage is, and how bad it is, and then also fix that damage. So even if it was bad, you don't have to worry about the plane's stability or making it to the end of the flight or doing an emergency landing because the plane just fixed itself. It, so it's based on research my advisor has been doing for a few years, and we're a structural health monitoring group. And so that's damage sensing of if you have an airplane or a bridge or a building and something happens to it, a computer somewhere will tell you if it was damaged and how bad it was damaged. Um, and we are doing it using material that's triboluminescent, which what it means is that as you break them or create friction through that material, it emits light. And so then when damage happens, we have a light signal saying, hey, damage has happened. We can convert that pretty easily to electricity and then we have a computer signal saying, hey, damage just happened. <laughs> Sometimes it just does not work. Uh, so one component of triboluminescent materials is that you can get different colors. So you can break one material and it emits red, another one emits yellow. And so to see where damage is happening, it would be great if we could tell which material was emitting. And so we have spectrometers and different kinds of cameras to try and record it. And we can, in monochrome, we can tell that it happened. Um, but not so much what color it was. And so that was six to eight months of just trying stuff that would not work and trying to find something else that would work and it, <laughs> it doesn't work. No reason that if you're considering doing engineering that you should feel like you can't do it. Um, it doesn't matter what your background is. You just have to find the feature about it that you like and what motivates you and there are people out there who will support you. A big thing is knowing that it exists. Um, when I was in high school, I definitely wasn't thinking, yeah, I'm going to go to grad school for another five years <laughs> after undergrad. Uh, like, I just realized that engineering was a thing in high school. I wasn't planning to do it indefinitely. So, watching this video, learning about OGFA, knowing that it's a thing is a really good step. I wouldn't have gone to grad school if I had to pay for it myself. Um, so, I, I wouldn't be here. The student group I started wouldn't exist. My research would never have happened. Um, I never would have met the people that I've met. I wouldn't have the opportunities that I have, like this summer I'm going to Germany uh, to meet with Nobel laureates. It would never happen <laughs> if I wasn't in grad school. So having a good relationship with your advisor is definitely important, or for me it's important that I have a good connection. I don't think it's a necessary component of every single student's program, um, and part of that depends on the student and also on the advisor. Um, as an engineer, specifically as a female engineer, advice I would give is you don't have to pay for grad school. Um, and that goes for a lot of other minorities, not just gender minority, but there's a good chance that someone out there is willing to pay for you to go to school. One great thing I like about engineering, especially industrial engineering, is it's about doing things better. And industrial engineering is really the, how do you do things better? How do you do them more effectively and more efficiently and for cheaper? And so what industry does that apply to is absolutely all of them. <laughs> so as an industrial engineer, you're not going, you're not studying mathematics and doing pure mathematics or doing finance kind of stuff. You're studying a method and then you can apply that to the food industry or sports or automotive or whatever thing that you like can be your career.